Good morning, Christ in St. Luke's. It's Monday morning, and good news, my Peruvian coffee cup was rescued from the third floor and is now out of self-isolation. Today, we remember Innocent of Alaska, who died on this date, 1879. Innocent of Alaska was the Archbishop and Metropolitan of Alaska, a Russian Orthodox priest, bishop, and metropolitan, uh, who was known for translating scripture and other works into native tongues and writing about the native people of Alaska. He was a man of tremendous zeal and courage, willingness to face hardship. And so we celebrate as one of the holy men and women of the Episcopal Church, innocent of Alaska. Please join with me as we take a few deep, quiet, conscious breaths to start us off. And as you breathe in, just draw up from within you whatever you carry with you into this day from yesterday or from the night, the feelings you woke up with, the fragments of a dream, concerns about the day, Just whatever, draw up and then breathe it out into the breath of God, the breath of God's grace, the breath of God's peace, the breath of God's love. Draw up from within all the people that you're concerned about and praying for and breathe them out into God's grace. And be still and know that God is with you. And in your isolation, that many others are with you as well. And that we are together, one in the Spirit, the breath of God. Now, if you have some coffee or tea, I invite you to uh, take a sip with me. And uh, let's begin on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Continuing on page 82 with the Venite. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. 
Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. Come, let us adore him. We will continue on page 806 of the Book of Common Prayer, 806, and we will read Psalm 148, starting with verse 7 and continuing to verse 13. Page 806, Psalm 148, 7 through 13. Praise the Lord from the earth. You sea monsters in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous winds doing his will, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord for his name only is exalted, his splendor is over earth and heaven. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The reading that I've chosen from the three readings appointed for Innocent of Alaska is Isaiah 41, verses 17 through 20. When the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue is parched with thirst, the Lord will answer them. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will put in the wilderness the cedar, the acacia, the myrtle, and the olive, I will set in the desert the cypress, the plain, and the pine together, so that all may see and know, all may consider and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. We will respond by turning to page 86 of the Book of Common Prayer and saying together Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah, page 86. And I'll take a sip of coffee while you find that page. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. 
Therefore you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the people. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy. For the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll continue with the Lord's Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. A collect for the Feast of Innocent of Alaska. Holy Immortal One, you blessed your people by calling innocent from leading your church in Russia to be an apostle and light to the people of Alaska and to proclaim the dispensation and grace of God. Guide our steps that as he labored humbly in danger and hardship, we may witness to the gospel of Christ wherever we are led, and serve you as gladly in privation as in power. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, to the ages of ages. Amen. A collect for the renewal of life found on page 99 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires. Incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A Collect for Mission found on page 101. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hardwood of the cross that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you for the honor of your name. Amen. A prayer for this time from Canterbury Cathedral. 